in the projection of plane's third case. That means the plane is inclined to both the planes. Here also we need to observe very clearly in the problem itself one is position of the plane or geometric parameters of the plane. The second one is plane inclination. The third one is edge inclination. These three parameters basically it will need to give in the problem. By observing this we can solve the problem. Now the third case inclined to planes inclined to both the planes both the planes note down first problem first problem a square ABCD of 50 mm side has its corner A in the HP, its diagonal AC inclined at 30 degrees to the HP and the diagonal BD inclined at 45 degrees to VP. and parallel to HP. Draw its projections. Now we will note the given data. A square ABCD. The notation also already given in the problem. So we need to use same notation. ABCD square side 50 mm. Next. Corner A Corner A in the HP, corner A in the horizontal plane and diagonal AC makes an angle of 30 degrees with the HP, 30 degrees with HP, right. Next, diagonal BD, diagonal BD is makes an angle of 45 degrees with VP. 45 degrees with VP. And this diagonal BD is parallel to HP. Okay, draw the projections. Right. Now, to analyze the given problem. See, this is the square. Okay. Now, we can name this as a, B, C, D. This is A, C diagonal. This one is A, C diagonal. Other one is the B, D diagonal. Now, this A, C diagonal, corner A is in H, P. This corner is in H, P. A, C diagonal makes an angle of 30 degrees with horizontal plane like this. Okay. Um, next one. In this position, we can imagine several possible positions. Okay, these are all several possible positions. But to fix the position, other condition is given the diagonal BD like this 45 degrees with the VP. Okay, diagonal BD is 45 degrees. If you draw a line through. BD, it is 45 degrees. Okay. This is the position given in the problem. Okay. Now, how we can draw this uh, uh, top view and front view? In this final position, the student can observe either front view or top view uh, will not give the true dimensions and true lengths or uh, true inclinations of the respective plane. Okay, for that, first one, it is the diagonal, BD diagonal is inclined with VP. Okay, that diagonal we need to put perpendicular to VP, like this. That is the first one. Second one, the plane inclination. AC diagonal is inclined with 45 degrees with HP. That means that indicates the plane inclination. 
ఓకే ఇఫ్ ద ప్లేన్ ఈజ్ ఇంక్లైండ్ అట్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ అండ్ కార్నర్ ఏ ఈజ్ ఇన్ హెచ్పి నా వి నీడ్ టు నగ్లెక్ట్ దాట్ దెర్ ఫోర్ ఇట్ విల్ బీ ఇన్ ది హెచ్పి ఓకే దిస్ ఈజ్ ది సింపుల్ పొజిషన్ నవ్ we can see its true dimensions true inclinations in the top view okay so that student need to draw top view first okay after this is in the hp now if you rotate the hp downwards then the top view will be like this right and this is a this is c this is b this is d okay likewise we need to draw okay now we will draw the respective positions see from here first to draw the reference line x y okay this is the position directly we can place it here and i will draw it but student need to draw by considering each side as a 55 mm 50 mm okay 50 mm and they need to draw the respective square right this is a this is b this is ab diagonal okay these diagonals we can show it as constructional lines right this is ab diagonal next the other diagonal bd this is bd this is bd and this one ac diagonal it is given as ac na ac diagonal right now this is in the horizontal plane if a plane is in the horizontal plane its front view is coincides with the reference line right therefore we need to project the <coughs> top view like this and this will gives us respect to friend view okay to distinguish only i change this color this is the top view right and this is yes, this is friend view a dash b dash d dash and this is c dash okay this is the top view this is the front view for the simple position now we consider inclination okay we consider inclination of 30 degrees with hp okay this if it is like this after the rotation it will be like this right that means the front view what we get here that will rotate for 30 degrees with hp that means 30 degrees with the reference line okay a is in the hp therefore a point this a point coincides with the reference line and we need to draw the perspective line with 45 degrees okay and we need to locate this is a 1 dash here to here this is b1 dash d1 dash and this is c1 dash okay the same thing i draw here that is the first stage of projection front view now project the front view downwards right now project the top view from the simple position right now this one
is the first stage top view right this one is a1 this one b1 c1 d1 right now the diagonal bd 45 degrees with vp diagonal bd see this is the bd diagonal here it is perpendicular to vp and in the top view due to parallel to hp true length is visible here also due to consideration of ac diagonal uh, inclination the bd diagonal still it is parallel to hp that is the reason in the top view bd length will not change that is very important now this bd diagonal is this bd diagonal is inclined with the vp 45 degrees now you need to consider 45 degrees inclination oh ac with 30 it is 45 here this is 30 degrees inclination it is given in the problem wrongly I noted there this is 30 degrees inclination with the HP AC is inclined with the HP 30 degrees okay we got the same thing the student need to consider exact angle here okay then they got the exact figure now the BD diagonal with VP 45 degrees now we need to consider 45 degrees angle right now i can consider 45 degrees angle here let it be 45 degrees now we need to reproduce this diagram here and bd diagonal we need to consider there okay bd this length you need to locate whatever be the length you observed with the compass that length you need to put this is d and this is b and here to here that distance you need to observe and you need to put here and to the bd diagonal ac is perpendicular therefore draw a perpendicular line here and here to here whatever be the distance that distance and here to here that distance you need to put okay this is a this is c this is second stage projection therefore a to b to c to d to okay now a to b to b to c to c to d to next a to d to okay this is i reproduce the same thing at this place right now um, you need to project the top view second stage top view upwards to draw front view okay now project the first stage front view right now we need to identify respective points here a1 dash here a2 obviously this one will be a2 dash right next here this is b and here it is b right therefore b2 dash if this is c and here c therefore this is c2 dash next d and here d therefore here d2 dash right now we need to draw lines in between the points in a sequential order a to b2 b to c2 c to d2 d2 a2 okay this is the required 
friend you and top you. And here the conditions are satisfied. That means the small, uh, smaller diagonal, that means it's not smaller, AC diagonal. Okay? The AC diagonal is 30 degrees inclined with the HP. This is 30 degrees inclined with HP like this. And uh, BD diagonal 45 degrees inclined with VP. At the same time, it is parallel to HP. Okay, that is fair to front view and top view. Right? Note down. Draw the projections of a regular hexagon of 25 mm side. Regular hexagon of 25 mm side having one of its side in the HP, right? And inclined at 60 degrees to VP. And that means the side is lies in the HP. At the same time, the side is inclined to VP 60 degrees. Its surface makes an angle of 45 degrees with HP. Draw the projections. Okay, right. In this problem, the angles and everything they are given exactly with right terminology directly. Okay. Now we will see the given the type of surface hexagonal regular hexagon. Okay. Given one is hexagon. Right. Hexagon side side equal to 25 mm right it lies in the side lies in the side lies in the HP and makes an angle of 60 degrees with VP right Next one, the surface inclination is 45. The surface inclined with HP HP 45 degrees. Okay, draw the projections. Now, if you consider hexagonal plane. This is the hexagonal plane. This is hexagonal plane. Okay, right. Now, the hexagonal plane, the geometric parameter, this is not a problem. With 25 mm side, we need to draw the hexagon. Now, one side, let us consider this side. This side is in the HP. Okay? This is in the HP. And the surface makes an angle of 45 degrees. And the side which lies in the HP, it makes an angle of 60 degrees with VP. Okay? Likewise or likewise. Okay? Both are possible. Right? As usual, see, one is geometric parameters of the uh, plane. The second one is side inclination. The third one is plane inclination. These three very clearly you can observe from here. Now, first, the side is inclined with VP 60 degrees. Okay? Now, put the side perpendicular to VP. Right? And the plane is inclined with HP 45 degrees. Neglect that 45 degrees. Now, this will be the position for simple uh, position projections, right? Now, in this position, the student can observe the true dimensions in the top view, right? Now, in the top view, we can uh, measure its, uh, we can see its original dimensions. After rotation of horizontal plane, that will be like this. That means we need to draw the hexagon in this position only. Right. Now we will draw. Right. See. Draw X, Y reference line first. Okay. And this is the respect to hexagon. Like this. Okay. This is the hexagon. 
right and we need to draw it right student need to draw the hexagon by considering side and included angle with 120 degrees okay now this is a b c d e f right now it is in the hp therefore the front view is coincides with the respective reference line right now project it upwards while projecting this c and f are collinear a and b collinear e and d collinear that is the reason i draw up to this only to distinguish the front view only i draw this right and this is a dash b dash this is c dash f dash and this is e dash d dash e dash okay now this plane inclination we need to consider this plane okay the front view okay that this edge is in the hp therefore without disturbing ab we need to rotate this plane with hp for 45 degrees now draw a line equal to 45 degrees okay this is the line with 45 degrees angle with reference line okay let it be 45 and this points a dash b dash c dash f dash e d dash here okay the same length here to here whatever be the length this point is a 2 dash and b 2 dash sorry a 1 dash and b 1 dash first stage projection that is the reason once will come right now this is c 1 dash and f 1 dash and here to here this is d1 dash and e1 dash okay this this is the length i marked here okay and this is the first stage front view okay now project it downwards okay project it downwards and project the simple position top view right now locate the respective points this is a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 and yeah one right now this one is this first stage top view right right now we need to consider side inclination this is the side which is in the HP. This is makes an angle of 60 degrees with VP. Now we need to consider sixty degrees angle. In this fashion I can consider this sixty degrees. This is sixty degrees inclination with VP and on that line we need to locate first a b okay this is a 2 
and B2. Okay, this length we need to locate here. After that, these constructional lines we need to draw for drawing of the same hexagon uh, projection, hexagonal projection here. Therefore, these lines are perpendicular. Draw the lines like this. And this distance you know. And mark that distance. And draw a perpendicular line to this. Okay. Now, you can locate this distance here. And you can locate this distance here. And this distance here. And this distance here. Now, you can draw the hexagon projection. First stage top view. First stage top view. With by considering 60 degrees angle. Okay, and this is C to D to E to and F to. Okay, exact figure you need to draw with the dimensions, right? Now, we need to project it upwards. After that, project the first stage front to you. Right? Now, locate the respective points. Here A and here this is A. Obviously, this one is A2 dash. Right? B2 and here is B. Therefore, this is B2 dash. B to dash. Next C. And here is C. C to dash. Next D. And D. Therefore it is D to dash. E. And this is E. E to dash. F. F to dash. Next. Okay, all points are over. Now, we need to draw the respective front view by considering points in a sequential order. Right. Now, this is a, B, and this one is like this. Okay? That the reason the front view and top view like that. Okay? Are you imagine? Right. Here, the student, if they consider a right position for the simple position, then entire problem will be right. Otherwise, it will go wrong. That the first one. The second one, while reproducing this diagram at this position, they can consider the these lengths as arcs. After that, they can draw the arcs and they can locate the points. But in that po in that method, many times for each side, one mm to one point five mm error will be there. This is because of their compass needle. Okay, and that leads to um, some uh, odd shape. Okay, some geometrically some uh, errors it will have uh, obtained. Okay, therefore try to draw the constructional lines once again here. And if you construct it, that gives a exact figure easily. Right? Now we will go for another problem. See, no doubt. Draw the projections of a circle of 50 mm diameter resting in the horizontal plane on 
a point A on the circumference of the plane inclined at 45 degrees to HP. That means plane inclination is given. The top view of the diameter AB making 30 degrees angle with VP. Draw the projections. Okay. Here, plane inclination, other one is diagonal inclination. These two are given. Now, imagine the respect to plane inclinations. Suppose this is the circular plane. It is having 50 mm uh, diameter. This is uh, lies in the HP like this. After that, this diagonal top view. After this inclination, the top in the top view, the diagonal length will reduce. It makes an angle with HP like V P like this. Okay, and this is the position. In this position, we need to draw the respect to projections. Right now, for this diameter of the circle, here we can write diameter of the circle is 50 mm. It lies in the horizontal plane on its uh, a point, a point on the uh, circumference. Okay. Now, the surface inclination with HP, surface inclination with HP is 40 deg 45 degrees. Surface inclination, surface inclination 45 degrees with HP and the top view, top view of, top view of diameter AB is, makes 30 degrees with the VB. Okay, this is given in the problem. Once again, we check the angles. Right. Now, draw the projections. Right. For this, first, draw the reference line here. And image XY. Just imagine how the surface is. Okay, this is like this. After that, here, this is the inclination. Okay. First, we need to uh, consider the diameter inclination. The diameter is inclined with VP 30 degrees, now put parallel to VP. Surface is inclined with HP 45 degrees, now inclined to HP inclination. Now the circle is in the HP. Okay, in the top view we can see its original or true dimensions. Okay, this is in the HP. After the rotation of HP, it will be like this. Right? This is the position we need to draw Okay, this is the position we need to draw for this simple position top view and divide it into 12 equal divisions. Here I consider 8 equal divisions. For the sake of simplicity and clarity, I consider 8 divisions. If you want to consider 12 divisions, nothing wrong in it. Okay, this is the AC or AB. I will uh, locate it as AB. That is good. This is AB diagonal. After that, eight equal divisions. I did. Right. For the front view, if it is in the HP, front view is coincides with the reference line. Okay. And for uh, the remaining, I will give the numbering like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Right. Now project it upwards up to reference line because the front view is 
coincides with the reference line. Right? Okay? Now, to distinguish the different view, we can draw yellow chalk piece, right? Now, give the, I mean, this is A, this is B. And this is 1 comma 6, this is 2 comma 5, and this is 3 comma 4. This is front view, therefore dashes. Now, this plane is inclined at 45 degrees to HP. For that, you need to draw a 45 degrees line. Let us consider this is 45 degrees. Right? And we need to locate these points on the line. This is A1 dash. This is 2 1 dash, 5 1 dash. This one. 3 1 dash, 4 1 dash. And this one. The distance we need to 5 1 6. This is 1 comma 6, 1 dash comma 6 dash. And more or less, I consider nearly equal issues, but the students has to take exact dimensions with the divider and you can put here. Right. Next this is B1 dash. Okay. Now, the first stage front view. This is the first stage front view. Right. Now, project it downwards. Okay. Now, project simple position top view. Right? Now, locate the respective points. This is A, this is B. And this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, we need to draw a smooth curve through all these points. Right. Right. This is the first stage top view. Okay. Now, this top view we need to reproduce here. Okay. After that, if you project it, in the front view, this gives the required front view. While projecting, see the top view of diameter AB. This is the top view of diameter AB. Okay, this makes an angle of 30 degrees with VP. Okay, now consider a line of 30 degrees inclination. This is 30 degrees inclination with VP. Now, AB diagonal, you need to locate first. Okay, this is A, this is B. Okay, next. These points we need to locate, midpoint. And uh, this distance you need to locate. Okay, from these points, these are the perpendicular lines. Okay, perpendicular lines we draw. Right. Now, after drawing these perpendicular lines, this is A, B, right? And this, from A, 
the first line here this is the distance and the same distance opposite side also and from here this is the distance this distance the same distance opposite side also right next this one next this one next this one right now you need to draw this figure it is smooth curve okay here this is the, with the rough dimensions uh, i transferred but student need to take exact dimensions okay and give this notation also perfectly a to b to okay next one this is 1 this is 2 this one 3 this one 4 this one 5 this one 6 right and this is second stage stop you right after that you need to project it upwards now project this front view horizontally right now locate the respective points this is one okay and here is one one two dash two and here two two here two next 3 here is 3 4 4 4 equal 4 right and b this is b and this is b and 3 this is b to this is 3 this is this is b okay b to dash right 4 next 5 5 and this is 4 na this is 4 this is 4 okay this is 4 right 6 6 and ye ye now we need to draw a smooth curve through this Okay, this is the required front and top views. Okay, and this we can call object rotation method because here the in the first stage, what we get that object is rotated for the required angle. After that, it is drawn there. and this is a elliptical profile a reproducing of elliptical profile and drawing of free hand curve again and again it is somewhat difficult okay here just i want to make a change here suppose instead of rotating this object if you rotate the axis then with respect to that axis this diagram will obtained okay and number of projection lines decrease time rig decrease